Okay guys, here it is, the highly awaited U.S. Carburation Snorkel Tri-Fuel Conversion on the Honda EU 7000 IS. Um, here's just a look at the, the overall look of it. Um, I had to re-engineer the the mount for the regulator uh, to to fit below the bar, below this frame piece. So that's what that looks like now. There's just about enough room to get a hand in here and operate the primer. There's another little look at my uh, clamp setup. I use some uh, some. Uh, this is a one-inch Schedule 40 PVC pipe that I cut in half and painted black and this is a this clamp is a one and an eighth inch muffler clamp and I I clearance this side so I could get it closer to the closer to the regulator so let me fire it up I don't know if you'll be able to hear me after that but I'll just start adding load and you can see what it's like couple of uh, 1500 watt space heaters here.
got that RPM to uh, maintain steady speed. And then if I add more power than that, it, uh, it actually improves slightly just because uh, the engine revs up and it stops doing that surging thing. But it's still kind of struggling for voltage. It's a big improvement. I can uh, add 1,500 watts of load without too much. that difference in voltage has to do with RPM, I think, because uh, that is on the uh, other inverter. So the only thing I can think of that would affect the other inverter would be engine speed. 
I'm not sure about that. This is not a well published. But anyway, a couple of old scrap. Doesn't seem too bad. I can add. Six hundred without really breaking a sweat, and uh, I mean practically the house never uses thirty six hundred, so I can I can get the engine speed down by switching to one hundred and twenty volts only. But then then it's that surge game. comment about the uh, instructions that come with this kit about turning off the gas supply before turning off the switch is that uh, that's what I was doing and then I would forget to turn off the switch and on this particular generator if you don't turn off the switch it kills the battery so I've actually killed two batteries I think that uh, it's possible that at this point the my, my gas supply is limiting the uh, the high end of the power on the high end. Um, I do have a full port valve up there and a half inch quick disconnect. Uh, this is a half inch hose. And then just just to make this as good as I could, I, I just went straight in here without a disconnect but I'm probably going to want to disconnect here so we'll see if that makes uh, any difference or not and I, I noticed that I can't I can't really turn the load block enough to uh, almost can't turn enough to make it too rich so I feel like uh, I feel like I'm probably short on gas supply up at those uh, higher higher loads for anyone contemplating this kit um, it is not a turnkey kit in my opinion it's, um, it's just like all of us carburations kit it's just kind of like a kit and their instructions are very very general uh, not very specific I, um, for example, they, they had this gas line run by, um, making it where the battery wouldn't have a hole down anymore because they want to run it through the, the punch out in the firewall where this, uh, back clip is attached. So they just have you running it through a bare, uh, you know, a raw edged metal hole where the clip used to be. Um, they also have the um, like a control module or some kind of a module, it's a black box. Um, 
And when my, my black box arrived uh, with the cover off of it, I don't know if it, uh, the, the box looked kind of beat up when, when I got it, so maybe it got knocked off in shipping, but, uh, but in any case, it's, it's all potted in epoxy, so you can't, you can't see what's in there. So it's just a true black box. But I, I mounted the, uh, I mounted the, the box inside of this, inside of this control panel, um, right along the, the inside here. Because I, their idea is you would just stuff it on top of the battery here. And this is their switch too. And I did stuff the switch on top of the battery. I did stuff the switch on top of the battery because I just kind of wanted to see if it would work before I, uh, you know, I guess I can punch a hole for this um, if I wanted to or in the, or in the battery door. I could, I could, no, I don't want it in the battery door, but I could mount this, I guess. But anyway, I just wanted to see if it would work and it doesn't seem too bad stuffed up here. Uh, the um, inside looks real clean with the um, well I see I didn't have my uh, this thing hooked up but it's not being used anyway the um I ran my, I wonder if you'll be able to see that at all. I, I punched a, a hole in the firewall for the hose and I'll, I'll put a grommet there to, to protect the hose. But it fits in pretty good. The, uh, the so-called snorkel thing, the worst part about that is taking these, these clips off because they want to fly inside the, the generator. I, I learned by doing it badly a few times with the uh, Gen Connects conversion kit. So I kind of learned how to do it. But uh, they're, they're hard to reach, and this is a bad design on Honda's part. But you have to get this, this cover off here to get at the, to get at the nuts that, that hold this on, and that, that's what allows you to install the snorkel gadget. And the snorkel itself is a, um, uh, clever, but it, it seems fragile. We'll just have to see how that holds up over time. I guess I got it, managed to get it installed without ripping it up. Um, I wish I could, uh, let's see, do I have a... see the, the passageway and I, I punched a 7 8 inch hole which should be just right for a 9 16 grommet just haven't had a chance to get out and get one I've still got the uh, the gen connects kit installed so you know still got their regulator mounted up here It's a real clean kit. It's just a shame it, it's just a shame it doesn't work. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's my miniature review. Feel free to leave a comment down below if you got any thoughts or questions on it. Thanks for watching. Bye.